Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. So, so if you watched the last episode, you'll know that we built this lovely little river off camera. I said I was going to build a tree and you can see I built a tree. I think it looks very, very nice. We've got lots and lots of stuff to do around this world today, though, and I thought we would have some fun building some new buildings. So I don't really have a plan for today, but I do have quite a few things that I would like to get done in the future. So we may combine the two. So if we head over here to this spot, I think this is where we're going to be working today, but I can't promise anything because I actually I don't really have much of a plan of what I'm going to be doing today. I'm kind of just on the world and we're going to end up building something. So I think we're going to be putting it right here and it's going to be some sort of watchtower situation. First things first, I think this path might have to move a little bit because it's kind of in the way. I guess we can start by placing some dirt to fill all this in so that we have a nice little flat area to work with. All right, I've been meaning to do that for a while. Let's turn it into moss now. Okay, that seems to be a decent base to start with there. Now I just got to visualize what the shape of this thing is going to be like. All right, let's get started. This is a completely original design today. So I have no idea how this is going to turn out. We are just going to wing it, but I would like to show you the materials we are going to be building with first. I forgot something. Hold on. All right. So our color palette is going to be something a little interesting. I wanted to try this out. So uh, our main tower is going to be of dark oak stripped logs. So we're going to have this color right here. I feel like this is a really nice brown. The base of the actual main building will be this chiseled tuff. So this is a nice gray block. On top of that, we'll be using red terracotta. You're going to see that that has a very nice color to it. So it's going to add some color to this coastline. And then for the roof of the actual tower, I figured we would use some warped planks because this is blue and that's kind of an interesting little color scheme there. So um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting little building. It's going to have lots of uh, cool shapes to it. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, but let's get started with laying down the foundation and what the actual shape is going to be like. All right. Well, first things first, I feel like we should definitely do the tower. That is the main attraction of this whole thing. So I want a little bit of space to this statue. I don't want it to be right next to it. So I think that is probably uh, we can go one more. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe maybe right there is like a good spacing. Um, we've got that. What would that be? Four blocks right there. That's enough for a walkway of some sort. So this will be our tower. It's going to be a relatively skinny one. I don't want this one to be like massive or anything. So um, we could either do three like that. Let's see how large that would be. That is decently large but i think it could uh no that's a good size that's a good size but we're gonna move it over a bit because this is actually uh it's a little too close this way i'd like it to be closer to the wall here so let me just remake it all right that is a little better of a location so now i was thinking um we could do a different block for the interior of it I was thinking spruce planks would fit quite nicely in there. I, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll uh, do some sort of shape that looks like that, I think. All right, now let's make the actual shape of the building. So I think I'm going to separate it into two parts, actually. I feel like this could be cool. So uh, I'm going to take this one out. I'd like to have maybe a two block walkway in the front here. So. Uh, we'll take it out one block, so we have that two block walkway, and we'll go one, two, three, one, one, two, three. I just like to have these gaps so that I can see uh, the middle point of the building. I feel like that's a good shape for that right there. What do we think? And we'll just line those guys up like that. So now we've got a building that's got this kind of shape to it. And then I wanted it to have... Um, some sort of little extension here. It doesn't need to be massive or anything like that, but you can kind of see we did the same thing on this building. So if we head over here, you can see we have like that little extension on the end there. So I want to replicate that over here. And I think we're going to put our staircase to get into the actual building right here. All right, let's start building the main shape of this thing. So I'm going to continue the walls upwards nice and simply. Uh, I, I'm not going to do that much detail when it comes to the size of the wall. 
what am I saying? Detail. What? That, that doesn't even make sense. All right, I'm going to build. I'm going to build up. Um, I don't know how many blocks I want to go up. I would like to have uh, the red be on the bottom like that. I just did these little breaks in here so that we could measure, making sure that we had a middle point. So now that we have that, we can fill them in. And that's where our windows are going to be. All right, I'm just trying some different roof trims here. I'm not sure what block I'm going to use, but I don't think the spruce plank works all that well. I feel like we could probably use some sort of stone up here. All right, you can start to get an idea of the shape. It's a little rough right now. Trust me, we will make it better later on. But I'm going to, I think, experiment with something up here as well, just so that it kind of tapers in. So we have this shape that'll go... Uh, from here on this side and it'll progressively get taller and taller and taller until we meet meet uh, this point right up here And I think the different color roofs will make that look cool. So uh, I'll just keep experimenting with the different stuff, but I do like this kind of shape we've got going on here So let's see how it progresses. All right, we're gonna make something cool with these windows So you're gonna need some temporary blocks So we'll make it in the shape of the window and then we're gonna grab our trap doors. I'm using spruce trap doors in this instance. I feel like this is going to work nicely with this build. Place those along the edge of the dirt like this. And then what you're going to do is uh, grab your shovel, take out the dirt that we placed, right? So now we've got uh, like these little shutters on the windows. And then I'm going to take signs and I'm going to place them on the inside of each of the windows right here. And that's going to give it this really cool window shutter uh style so we'll jump on the scaffolding you can see it kind of adds like the support into the side of the actual window i absolutely love how that looks so we're going to do that for uh, these windows on the side here because that's going to be awesome all right and there you go we got some really nice window shutters i would like to put something in here just haven't really decided what it's going to be yet but let's work on uh this little guy right here so i think we're just going to do something like this i don't want it to be all that crazy it just needs to be a little extension of the building and whatnot so uh, we'll just kind of fill it in i guess all right let's make a little roof for this section this is going to be pretty simple i'm going to be using cobbled deep slate stairs i feel like this gray block is very nice uh so i'm just going to build up a very simple roof here i was picturing more of a triangular one like i'm doing right now all right all right that's pretty good so we've got somewhat of a vision starting to form now let's see what we can do for this front side here all right i think i'm going to do three windows on this side so we have a two block space there so um we're actually this might not work we might have to do it like this here all right, so we're doing a different pattern on this side. So we did two windows on that side, but we're going to do three on this side here. And they're all spaced two blocks apart from each other. That way we can do the same windowsill thing we got going on. So uh, I think we're going to build up just to the same height as this went. All right, we've got our trim. So we've got a nice little shape over there. Now, I would like to give it a try of maybe putting some stairs on top as well. I feel like it would give it this Victorian look. Kind of want to try it. What do we think? Um, it's a little bulky. It's a little too much. I don't know. Maybe it's just because there's nothing up there yet. Uh, we'll sit on it for now. I think I'm good. I think we'll, uh, if, if need be, we can always add it back, but I don't know if it's the right thing for now. All right. I feel like that adds a little bit more detail to the window in there. I would like some sort of like flower thing in here if that makes sense but i don't know how to make that or maybe in the ground here just some sort of foliage in the front here all right well i was planning on using this boat and if i just like kind of can maneuver this thing in here it's kind of like a little a little flower thing that holds flowers all right how about that I don't know. It kind of works. It kind of doesn't. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts. All right. Maybe the single block flowers will look a little better. That seems to be 
the case there. I'm happy with that. We can stick with that for now. It's a creative little idea. You can't really see that one, but who cares? It's just for aesthetics. You know, I'm going to experiment with something. I don't use no overhangs like that very often. And I'm going to give it a try. I want to see how, how it looks. Okay, so I've actually decided to go with white up top, which is kind of uh, interesting. <laughs> it wasn't my original plan, but I saw a picture online just looking for inspiration. And I feel uh, as if a... Japanese sort of uh, style up top here could work really well, which is uh, one of the first times I'm doing that. I don't think I've used something like that at all in this world. So this would be my first time experimenting with a uh, Japanese style structure here, which I think is going to be cool. This is kind of an interesting build, right? It's like a combination of everything all at once, which I really like. So um, yeah, that's uh, kind of the special things that happen when you make an original build. You just get these weird ideas. So um, this will probably go like that right there. We'll have to figure this out later. It's, granted, it's not going to stay there, I would imagine. But um, yeah, we've kind of got something like that now. This is like a really interesting shape that it has. I feel I feel like that's really, uh, really just odd looking. But it's going to be cool in the end. But I would like to add uh, the roof up top here. So we have a couple couple of uh, different options here. All right. Well, first thing is first, we need a placeholder block for the roof. So I think I'm going to use uh, just this here because we got to place some stairs. All right. So for the trim of the roof, I believe we are going to be using dark oak stairs. I feel like this is a dark enough color to have a contrast between all three of these blocks right here and then i think i'm gonna use copper for the roof here all right and to really make this look japanese we need some sort of separation in the center they usually have something of that nature so i think something just like that will do and i feel like once the copper oxidizes that blue greenish color is going to work really well up here so i would like to use that oh yes pretty neat I like the way that looks. It's a very interesting building. <laughs> very interesting. I've got a cool idea here on the top of the tower that I wanted to try out. So we're going to start with dark oak stairs. And we're going to use that to line the perimeter like this. So it goes from three wide and it's going to transition to five wide here. And you're going to see why this is going to look really cool in a second. So uh, I'm going to take mud brick walls. I feel like these are a very nice block. And I'm going to take those and place them in the corners, three high, like so. Just like this right here. And then what we're going to do is place glass panes in the center and the walls are going to connect to the glass panes. All right, so I brought some black stained glass panes with me and we'll put those on the corner like so. So that's going to allow the wall to extend. So we'll get a cool look by doing that. And then I thought I saw these in my shulker and I was like, that would be so cool in the middle there, which are these copper grates. Once those oxidize, we're going to get a nice blue color yet again. And that is just going to be fantastic. Exactly what we need for that. And then we can just line this uh, with our stairs and bring it inwards. All right, time to build some chimneys. This is always my favorite. I feel like this absolutely brings a build to life when you do this so uh, i think i'm gonna put them we're gonna make four of them i do know that and so i'm gonna go up one layer so this was uh you can see there's our first layer and then we got this one right here and i'm doing it on the corner blocks one in so here's our corner we go one in and then we do the space so corner one in and space right there so those should line up very nicely we'll do that on both sides here so we'll knock this out, and I believe the other one is right here. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a gradient with this thing. I feel like this is going to look really sweet. So I've got tough blocks, I've got cobblestone, I've got andesite and andesite walls. And then obviously we're going to put our campfires on top. So I'm going to start with tough, and uh, I'm going to go up for different heights on each one. Uh, maybe something like that for this one. Uh, we'll do it alternating sides, actually. So uh, something like this. And we'll just go up one block and then um, we can go up here. And you know what? I think I'm going to do them at different heights as well. 
uh, just to kind of add to the randomness of the build. And so uh, we'll just go up with the walls from this point on. We'll go up two, like I'm doing right here. And now we can place our campfires on top, just like this right here. Oh, no. How did that happen? All right. Let's take a look at that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's so fantasy looking. That is exactly what I was going for. Okay. So this is turning out well. It's basically as I had pictured it. It looks so cool. We got to add some more detail though. So I'm thinking some fence gates and some sort of pattern up there is really going to help that look a lot better. So let's make those. So as we've been over in a few of my videos, this is a great trick to add some detail. Just take some trap doors, place them in the center like this, then move over to some signs of the same variant. Oh, didn't mean to type that. <laughs> and then add some buttons at the end. And it just adds like a really nice framework piece and especially adds lots of details to flat areas like that. All right. I would like some sort of balcony over here. Uh, we'll make it accessible right through there. And I think I'm going to use fence gates. So I'm going to take these polished tough walls and kind of extend it outwards like this. And then what I'll do is we'll use the fence gates to connect everything because they, they do that weird thing when they're connected to walls where they like go lower. And then if you connect them again, they do this. And I just feel like that's a really, <laughs> a really cool look. So I wanted to use that up here. I feel like that adds a, a really nice detail. And I think I'm ready to start texturing. I'm sure some more ideas will come to me as I keep going here, but uh, that seems to be a pretty good outline. There's just a little more I would like to do to make it look complete if that makes sense so we'll just do it a little bit here and there we don't need to go overkill with it or anything like that it's just to add a little bit of detail when it comes to uh the color of the blocks and whatnot so um i think something light will be just fine all right i'm really happy with that I'm really, really happy with that. I just can't wait until everything oxidizes. It's going to be all blue. It's going to look super, super cool. Uh, but I would love to make a few more little adjustments. I think we just need to add more details around the area, maybe a custom tree or something like that. And this is going to look absolutely beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The bushes really brought that to life. I absolutely love how that looks now. Oh, it's coming together. It really is coming together. I'm just thinking of final little additions I could add to the outside, but I love this side here as well. Oh, man, that looks so cool. I haven't checked it from the beach yet. Oh, that looks really, really cool. Yeah, I absolutely love how that turned out. The tower is so cool up there as well. What an interesting build. Here's what it looks like from further away. I just absolutely love that. I think that's so cool. I feel like it needs a little more leaves up top there. Oh yeah, that is awesome. That looks so cool. Well, to be honest with you, I haven't even really been inside yet. So let's walk inside and see what it looks like. And this is the room that we've got to work with in here. So it's not much. So for the interior, I wanted to try something that I haven't used before. So we've got an interesting color combination here. So I've got uh, stripped dark oak logs. That is going to be the base of our um, interior. So the bottom of our wallpaper. And then I think what I'm going to do, haven't quite decided yet. Um, I have dried kelp here and green terracotta. So I think I'm going to use green terracotta for the first layer. And then for the ceiling trim, I think I'm going to use dried kelp. How does that look right there? If I am to put that in ah uh, it's a little too hmm what if we did it on the bottom instead like this and then placed the green terracotta yeah that is much better let's do that i'd like to experiment with something as i walk in here i'm kind of making this interior it's something a little light we got to fill in these windows in here we'll do that very very quickly that should be no problem at all just a few more here on this side and there we go that is complete uh so we do have to do the windows as well i really like this texture on top of the chiseled bookshelf it looks really really cool oh no 
Wow. <laughs> well, I didn't know you couldn't. Apparently, you have to silk touch them. Anyways, <laughs> I am going to line them along the bottom here because I actually really like this moss block. It looks like a green carpet. And so I'm going to uh, basically take out the trim here. Hopefully, uh, I have enough blocks to get this done the way I wanted to. But basically, I was just picturing you take the chiseled bookshelves and you place them like this because it has that really nice wood texture on top and it's kind of like a cool little floor pattern. Hey, hey, they're shooting my sheep. Hey. Nope, we will not be having any of this. None of this. Go away. Do not touch my sheep. Whoa, <laughs> I'm getting ambushed. I'm getting ambushed from the roof, man. What the heck? All right, I'm not sure why, but I really feel the need to add some sort of a shop sign on the outside here. So uh, we're going to do a little design together here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to make this, uh, but I think I'm going to do something like that. Maybe is that that's too far out. OK, that is definitely too far. out. We can only do this here and then I'm going to have it connect uh, with the two blocks right here like this. So then from there, I was thinking I could add maybe um, if I can get up here. There we go. We're going to have to do it this way. Go like this and then one underneath. That was an accident, but that kind of looks cool. <laughs> I meant to put it the other way. Um, and then we'll have to place some temporary blocks for a second here. All right, so I guess we'll just add the uh, the same one to every side. Oh, I kind of like the horse one more. That's the new one. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to add the horse one each side. Oh, look at that. I really like that. That, that really adds to it. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, man. I really like how that turned out. That is a unique building. What an interesting shape that thing has. That is uh, a very interesting shape, to say the least. Uh, but I quite like it. It's very different from my regular style, I think. And that's why I wanted to make something like this today, just to kind of branch out, do something different, you know, try around with some new designs and new things that I learned. And I really like how that turned out. But let me know what you guys think I should turn this into because it's obviously empty on the inside. I was thinking, now let me know what you think about this. I was thinking we could turn it into a place for all of my armor stand stuff. So um, by that, I mean like uh, different armor trims and the smithing table and all that type of stuff because I don't have any location for that currently. And I feel like this is a cool little spot to put this in, but we'll head all the way up top here so you can see what's up here as well. Uh, this is obviously the top of the tower. You get a nice little view of everything from up here. Uh, can we break into... All right, so then we obviously have this floor as well. We can even this out and make this look a lot better. Uh, but that's pretty much the whole build. There really isn't that much else in here. I feel like we should add a little more headroom for that spot right there. But yeah, let me know what you guys think I should turn this into. I'm really leaning towards that... Uh, whole armor idea with the trims and stuff i feel like it would be really cool having that in here but um i would be open to hearing your guys' thoughts down below all right today's comment of the day comes from trimarked again i believe this is the first user we've had get two in a row uh, but there is a specific reason for this one um, and that was he said that people came to your channel to hear what you had to say. So you should keep on doing that. The Minecraft content is great. Just spread it out so there's more variety. This is an interesting one. Um, and so I think the biggest thing about this one, you can go read the comment for yourself. I believe it is on my river video. Uh, and um, there's because there's more in there. That was just a paraphrased version of it. But so I think the most important thing, right, is that just whenever you have a YouTube channel, it's very important not to get lost in the view count and the numbers because eventually you'll just lose your passion for making videos because you're just trying so hard to please the algorithm. And um, I don't know, things like that. Like you, you just focus way too much on trying to um, please the algorithm that you like fall out of love with making videos and I've had a few channels fall into that trap that I've made um, 
And so I've learned a lot from my other YouTube channels in that you should really just upload whatever it is that you're passionate about. I think the biggest thing I want to take away from this is that at the end of the day, I just really enjoy playing Minecraft. And I think that's what I will stick to the most because I, I, in the trends video, went over that I basically just want my channel to be about me building and playing Minecraft. I just really enjoy playing the game. I have a lot of fun uh, building and messing around with different build palettes, designs, whatever it may be. I really, really enjoy that. And so a lot of the times... Um, I will only ever make a video like that if I feel like I have something that I would like to talk about or something that needs to be addressed. And a lot of the times, I don't really feel like that. <laughs> it's very rare that I feel like I have to address something or talk about something in a very passionate way, which is probably why those videos do well, is because it's coming straight from the heart. I'm not just making those videos, you know, randomly thinking about something and am not passionate about it. That Hermitcraft video, you know, it did so well. And I went over that topic because I truly did feel that way about the server and what they've been uploading. So that's why you've only seen one video of that. I haven't tried to milk it and, you know, take it as far as I can to make 20 videos on the same topic like a lot of these other channels will do because those are people that capitalize off of a massive trend coming in. And as we went over in the trends video, those channels end up dying in the future or really peter out because they lose that momentum because they just try to force doing the same thing over and over and over again to capitalize off the views. My channel isn't like that. I've made it very clear from day one that I love playing Minecraft and I will just continue to upload whatever it is that I'm passionate about and whatever it is that I you know, love doing, I guess. And so that's why my channel is kind of structured the way it is. I love building in Minecraft. I love playing the game. I have a lot of fun interacting with you guys and showing you guys my builds. And I will continue to be doing that for the foreseeable future because for the moment, that's what works for me. And I'm having an absolute blast doing it. And what a blessing it is to be in this position. So anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much to everyone who has been supporting the channel lately. I did, I did uh, actually want to say one more thing before we hop off here, and that is we have been doing live streams, so check those out on your homepage. There is no schedule at the moment, so it might be a little difficult, but you can always hit the, uh, the post notifications thing uh, with the bell on my channel so you'll get notified when I go live. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. That's about it.